Mounting Sentry, uh, obviously also known as Stag, uh, being on duty, is probably the most common duty that uh, every rank should at some point experience in the group. So every rank in this group should have mounted Sentry at least once in this group or any other previous guard group. I'm sure as you know, it's typically a guardsman, bare skin, tunic, or full dress. Um, and it's representing not only the group, but the drill and discipline of the group itself. Uh, and it's, I'm sure everyone will agree, a key symbol of this nation as the most stereotypical British thing, in my opinion, is, well, I say stereotypical, you know what I mean. Uh, probably a guardsman in a bear skin, you know what I mean, outside of Royal Palace. Um... This is obviously something that this group takes very seriously, as we do a mount every week, uh, which means we put guards on our sentry. Com uh, company staff also have the ability to host reliefs throughout the week, uh, which is a detachment of guards who basically rotate duties every, what, 15, 10 minutes, whatever. Uh, normally consists of uh, an officer or a guard commander, a sergeant or a senior sergeant, a lance sergeant, a junior sergeant who's in charge of the lance corporals. Uh, normally in real life there's a senior lance corporal and a junior lance corporal, but in our case we just have two lance corporals and they're basically responsible for taking this uh, <coughs> excuse me, taking the sentries on and off duty uh, with the sentries pass speech, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Uh, so, as stated before, Guardsman is obviously the most common rank to stand on guard. Obviously, during sentry or during a, a changing of the guard, we normally have a Lance Corporal or uh, even someone from Headquarters go on sentry, but that's just because they're taking up a role of a Guardsman. But normally, if it's a relief, we expect to see Guardsman on sentry, not NCOs. Um, I think, in I'm sure some of you may have seen uh, some battalions like Irish Guards and Welsh Guards, in very rare circumstances, they end up having to put lance corporals on duty. I'm assuming it's just because of the simplicity that they don't have enough guardsmen to mount guard. Uh, but as I said, we really would rather avoid doing that in this group. But if it needs to happen, then you know what I mean. So, uh, the dues of a guard. I'm sure you all, as I said, know what uh, the basic dues are. Any guardsman who's on sentry duty uh, is entitled to patrol on the path that's marked below them. Uh, normally, in real life, they'll be given a specific amount of paces, how much they're allowed to patrol. In our group, you just follow the path. Uh, and obviously, while they're on center duty, they've got, to be, they've got to maintain a high standard of discipline and drill. So it's important that you still follow the same drill commands, such as slope arms, before you start moving. Uh, you, uh, one thing that some people don't know is when you're patrolling a sentry box, you, no matter what uh, movement you're doing, you will never face away from the public. As in our terms, or in the guards' terms, I should say, the public are known as a threat. The public are the threat to the palace in our eyes. Obviously, they're not a threat because they're just tourists, but you know what I mean. They are seen as a threat. So even when you're patrolling and you need to turn around so you about turn on the march you will face you will or you'll go left if you're on the right hand side of the sentry and you'll go right if you're on the left hand side of the sentry box so basically means that you're always facing the public no matter which way you should never be facing towards the sentry box is essentially what that means um obviously uh, as i said once you're on duty you've always got to um You've always got to represent uh, the battalion itself, uh, which obviously means drill. Uh, so whenever a non-commissioned officer comes to you, towards you on a sentry duty, you should slope arms. Uh, this is, in a way, a sign. It's similar to how a subordinate would brace up to a sergeant major in, like, if they came on a parade square or something like that. Uh, but it's in in the sense that when you slope arms, uh, when a non-commissioned officer comes, it's the sign that that you could be moving either you're moving to a different sentry for whatever reason or you're changing with another guardsman um, if an officer comes it's pretty simple, you come to attention slope arms and you salute them so give a butt salute as usual and the officer will return the salute 
the only time an officer should realistically be coming up to your sentry is if they're asking for a report or if they're doing their rounds, but that'll be covered later. Uh, uh, this is something that some people don't really know. Excuse me. When you mount guard, uh, you will follow any words of command that are given by the guard commander or the person who's commanding your guard. So, for example, at Buckingham Palace, you obviously have the new guard and old guard. When you get put on sentry duty, you're the Buckingham Palace attachment or the new guard, well, both, as you're on sentry duty. Um, if the captain of the guard says, new guard, present arms, then you follow that words of command, same as everyone else, because you are on duty. You are listening to that you are still the new guard, no matter how, or you're still the Buckingham Palace attachment. So even when it's Buckingham Palace Attachment, then obviously you still follow the same words of command. If you're St. James's Palace Attachment and they say at St. James's, you know what I mean? It's pre pretty basic. Always follow the words of command that are given by an officer who's commanding uh, another group who you fall under, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, um, the main the main purpose of our role is to react to any intruders or trespassers accordingly. Now, in, it's normally rare that you have to deal with anyone without us intervening first, either by using admin or killing them, whatever. But I'm sure you all know the free warnings, uh, the free warnings of uh, which you've probably seen in real life and the stereotypical step back from the Queen's Guard and all that. Uh, so we have three steps of warning, uh, well, three steps of re reacting to these intruders. Uh, which obviously the first one, as you can see, stand to attention sharply and warn the intruder to step back away from you or the point that they are trespassing. So if someone crosses the gate, then come to attention if they're close enough to obviously see your text and say step back. Uh, or give them a direct instruction. So if they've passed a certain point in the fence, say uh, step back behind the fence or whatever, you know what I mean? So just make sure it's clear the word of command you're giving. Uh, step two, if they persist, which most people will on Roblox because there's no real consequence for their action, uh, you'll adopt the high port position, which just shows it's uh, assigned to the intruder that you are armed and you have a rifle. Uh, little do they know that it's unloaded, but nonetheless. Um, and once again, you'll tell the intruder to step back, giving the same words of command as you did before, so same sort of orders. Uh, and the final sort of warning that you can give is uh, the on guard position, which is just pressing F until you're pointing the rifle forward with your bayonet aiming at the in uh, the uh, intruder. And this is there, you should probably instruct them final warning, step back, you know what I mean, get back. And if they still don't, then you're actually authorized to go and actually kill them with the bayonet and make sure they all push them back. If they keep going like back and forth, you know what I mean, trying to take the piss, then just do the help command or report their name to whatever admin and we'll sort the help. Uh, obviously, the appropriate responses pretty basic: step back, get back, stand back, step back from the Queen's Guard, get away, move back. Depending on what detachment you're at, so it could be make way for the Windsor Castle Guard, step back from the Windsor Castle Guard. You know what I mean? All, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, I'll go back to um, basically the basics of sentry. So, another thing: uh, these are more of don'ts. So you should never do these. Referring back to before where the guard commander gives words of commands and you listen to them words of commands, one thing you must never do is stand easy. Uh, standing easy in the eyes of the British Army is a sign that you're relaxed, a sign that you're, you're, you're stood easy in the name. Uh, so obviously as on sentry duty you're always alert, so it means you can't be stood easy. Uh, never go AFK. There's literally no point of you being on guard if you go AFK. I don't mind if you put YouTube up or something or on your phone and patrol and watch it at the same time. Just as long as you're tabbed in game and you can see what's happening, that's fine. All right. Just don't go completely AFK. Because if you get caught going AFK, well, it's not going to end well. Uh, never march at shoulder arms. That's just basic drill knowledge. Should be taught from phase one. Uh, never present arms unless told to. This basically means that when an officer comes, some people incorrectly present arms. Uh, you should never really do that. The only time a present arms is really applicable is if 
someone, a uh, guard commander, says present arms. So of an order of word of command says present arms. Uh, as we don't have any royals or generals at the moment in this group, there's no one to present arms to. Even Josh, he's only a lieutenant colonel, I'm sure as you know. Uh, uh, this is uh, very simple. Never talk to or un uh, never, t uh, excuse me, never talk unless spoken to first by a non-commissioned officer or above. So this actually comes under your execution, which is my execution is to act in a smart soldier-like manner, not to converse with anyone unless in the course of duty, if so, as briefly as possible without movement. So it basically means you shouldn't talk to someone or you shouldn't, you know what I mean, communicate with anyone unless absolutely needed or unless someone's asking you a question. The only time, as I said, you should ever really be spoken to is by a non-commissioned officer when they're changing you over, or an officer or a sergeant when they're asking for a report. Other than that, civilians, uh, other guardsmen who come up to you should all be ignored. You, you are on duty. Uh, mentioning them, uh, report, mission, execution, we'll go through that now real quick. So I'm sure as you know, uh, while on guard, the guard commander, who's the officer who's in charge of your detachment, and the senior sergeant, who's the most senior uh, ranking individual, uh, senior enlisted individual, I should say, uh, of your detachment. Uh, they will sometimes, uh, normally twice a day in real life, could be a bit more in Roblox, obviously, as we have a choice. They will come to your sentry box and ask for a report. Uh, to respond to a report, just simply say, nothing to report, sir, slash mom, depending on who it is, all is well. Basically just means there's no going on, we're fine. Simple as that. Nothing, nothing. If, they, if something has happened, like there's a civilian who keeps coming back and forth, they'd obviously report that and say this civilian keeps playing up and then we'll deal with it from there. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, if the officer or... You'll get told this... Well, in real life, you'll get told this before you mount sentry is your mission and execution. In real life, guardsmen actually memorize this, so they just say it when the NCO asks what's your mission or what's your execution. Uh, your mission is to man your post and to, det and to deter any would-be aggressor and show the status of the royal family. So basically what that means is you are there to prevent, you basically look there to look scary to prevent anyone from coming in to the palace. Uh, you'll be basically showing that you are a guard, you are stopping people from coming into that area. Uh, and show the status of the royal family. Obviously, you are the symbol of the royal, uh, you're a symbol of British culture, the nation, so therefore, you, and in our case, you're a symbol of our group. So if you start messing up on Century, you're going to make the whole group look shit, pretty much like that. So when it says show the status of the royal family, just think show the status of the battalion, because you are showing the status of the battalion. Uh, execution. Uh, execution is to act in a smart and soldier-like manner, so always march, uh, always be drilled, uh, sharp movements, accurate movements, you know what I mean, all that stuff. Uh, not to converse with anyone unless in the course of duty, so like I said before, not to talk to anyone unless need needed to, and if so, as briefly as possible, so uh, quickly, quick direct orders, and without movement, so preferably without having to go away from your sentry post. Uh, which brings me to a real another point. You shouldn't just leave your sentry post for whatever reason. I'm sure as you know in the orders which is found in the Lance Corporal document um, this can be very, very bad. Do not leave your sentry because if you leave your sentry especially in a, in a server with, which has civilians outside if they see it's empty they'll probably take the chance. And with all the buttons and gate controls and access directly to the barracks from the minibuses, it's not a good idea to just leave. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much the basic duties of a sentry. It's ultimately the most, I think, recognisable thing that any guard group can do. 